Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draklitz and today I would like to show you a quick way, an easy way for making a texture for the skin of a reptile uh, such as could be a snake or a dinosaur on, uh, or uh, uh, things, uh, that sort of things and uh, for making a skin a texture for a reptile we are going to be using GIMP alright and uh, GIMP has some already built-in filters okay great filters that uh, can help us uh, into making this from scratch so let's go ahead and get started first of all i want to open a new file so go up here to the file uh, menu and select new and since we are going to be working with a uh, texturing uh, it's a good idea to set this the width to uh, 1024 for example hit tab and enter 1024 as well for the uh, for the height so we want a square uh, of 1024 by 1024 as the the background image okay so uh, here we're presented with uh, this white uh, background and i want first to go ahead and select the bucket fill tool and click inside with the black color okay in front and i want to turn this into a black or rather better you could duplicate the layer and you can fill it with a black uh, color and then I want to go ahead and work a little bit with the filters here so go to the filters here up here and go to the render uh, tab here and select clouds and from the option here select fog and a new dialog pop-ups and you want to uh, keep the settings as they are the default and the fog coloring ok and the turbulence ok you can play around with that of course if you want and click ok so now we have this nice effect here i want to select this uh, this layer here over here in the layers palette and i want to right click and uh, merge select the merge down option now i have merged them uh, down together those two now next thing i want to do is to go to the filters distorts and select from the list here mosaic so select mosaic that uh, uh, renders those tiles here you can play of course with the tile size the tile height and the spacing and the light direction and things like that color variation if you want to add some more color variation and things like that so let's uh, make some changes here all right and the light direction of course i think it's okay the tile neatness which uh, makes for more variety in the tiles all right so let's set this to something 0 0.8 for example and maybe that's too much let's make this something like 59 perhaps okay and you can set the tile height the tile size all right and I want to click OK and here you are, we are presented with this kind of effect here. Now go ahead and first of all let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. So having selected this uh, duplicate layer over here I want to go to the filters and I want to go to the edge detect and I want to uh, hit edge to select the edge filter. So a new dialog pop ups here and you can see we have this nice effect here it has detected the uh, the edges uh, based upon the difference uh, in the contrast between the different colors here all right so click ok and now having uh, this uh, effect now i want to go again to the filters and i want to go to the generic and select delayed and the delayed what this does is that uh, it shrinks down the dark areas all right so let's add some uh, more delayed here okay so you can see i have something like this and then go ahead and uh, gain to the filters and add some blur gaussian blur and i think well you can play always with the the, the value here but you can keep it to 14 uh, right okay so let's leave it as it is for the moment okay and now i want to go to the uh, to the uh, tools having always selected this layer here i want to go to the tools color tools and colorize now with the colorize i want to play a little bit around with the colorize so increase the lightness and play with the hue and i want to give it some nice effect like so here okay and of course you can always go ahead and uh, and add some filter artistic uh, soft glow so you can add 
some you know even more uh, you know variation okay and of course you want to uh, to mix this with the uh, the, la la the layer underneath using a uh, hard light perhaps uh, you know a hard light uh, blend mode and now you can give those spots right that add add to the realism of course now I want to make this to be my diffuse map uh, so let's export this to um, to my directory as the skin diffuse all right okay and now I want to go ahead hide this layer here and uh, go ahead duplicate this layer underneath and I want to work with this layer and I want to again add a new edge detect filter okay and I want to now go ahead and invert the colors of uh, this uh, edge uh, filter so I'm inverting it and I want to perhaps a tools color tools threshold to this so I'm trying to just having something like so all right and I and then click OK and I want to keep this as a bump uh, map okay so I'm exporting it uh, as a bump map so just go ahead save it as team bomb so a new dialog pop ups and you hit uh, ok you hit enter and now let's go ahead and switch over to the to blender and i have here uh, imported here i have imported this uh, dinosaur uh, sculpt that i have made uh, some time before a few time ago, uh, before and i want to uh, apply to this uh, a material and use nodes of course and I want to make the material to be a combined material with diffuse and glossy so that's why I want to bring the node editor here but before that before bringing the node editor I want to switch this over to a UV image editor uh, this window here so select the UV image editor from here and I want to switch over uh, to this model here and I want to tab into that mode and I want to unwrap it uh, as you can see it has already a UV so I want to show you how this uh, can be done so I'm going to the mesh and I'm going to the UVs I will go to the UV maps here and I'm uh, removing this uh, UV map I want to show you how you can unwrap it uh, very easily using the UV uh, smart UV project so select you uh, hit U select smart UV project and now you click OK and you have unwrapped this and then you can select all of them and control A, Avert the Islands and control P you can try to um, kind of uh, make them fit inside automatically and uh, make them fit inside the UV tile so now of course this is not a UV mapping tutorial so what I'm, I'm going to try to do is to show you how to texture this even if some seams may be uh, this is not seamless this might not be seamless at all but this is a tutorial about uh, how to uh, to texture this uh, dinosaur here so um, uh, now what I want to do is to uh, go up, up here and select this into an old editor switch this uh, change this window into an old editor now this is the material the diffuse material for the dinosaur shift A I want to add the shader a glossy shader all right and i want to add also a mix shader for mixing those two together together excuse me and i want to mix those two together now i want to add a texture image texture and i want to open the uh, skin diffuse number two png image all right i want to connect this to the color both for the diffuse and the glossy and of course i want to switch from down here to the render it view so we can have a preview of how this looks like it looks uh, quite nice I, I would say and perhaps I want to uh, l set lower to reduce the overall uh, glossiness here by reducing this slider here and uh, of course I might want to go ahead and uh, change my lamp here uh, to a sun lamp so you can have a better idea of how this looks like in the preview and of course use nodes uh, of course as well so let's maximize this and uh, you can see how this looks like already of course you can play with the color you can 
uh, you know, but this is just a, a an example of how you can achieve a rather realistic result of a of this uh, reptile uh, skin uh, using just the filters in GIMP and no real uh, image. So let's go ahead and uh, now add the uh, bomb texture that we have saved uh, from before. Uh, we have uh, ex exported from GIMP. So Shift A, add a new texture, image texture. Now go to the I'm uh, going to the uh, heading over to the GIMP directory and selecting the skin bomb PNG and I uh, opening the image and I want to of course go ahead and connect this, link this to the uh, this color to the displacement. So you can see I have also a nice uh, bump, uh, uh, bumpiness here, uh, some nice bumpiness and bump effect. You can always go ahead and add the v uh, converter math if you want to uh, connect this here and change the, the mode to multiply and I want to uh, click on this value here and I can set this to 1 or you can bump this up if you want a more intensity in, in, in contrast to your effect or set this to one all right and perhaps i would like to add some more uh you know uh some more uh, glossiness here to the whole uh, here all right so and now i would like to also go ahead and uh, and uh, perhaps i would like to set a to to input a layer wet node and you can see what I mean now and I want to set this to be the factor of the mixing and perhaps I want to bump up a little bit the so uh, depending upon how the normals are facing uh, we will we're going to have this nice uh, glossy uh, effect okay of course perhaps I would like to reduce the blend here all right so anyways you can have this nice uh, you know, nice looking uh, reptile skin uh, like texture uh, through using just the, you know, the uh, the filters in, in, in available in GIMP. And of course, I would like to add some eyes here. So let's switch over to the and add a sphere, mesh, UV sphere. All right, and I want to scale this down quite a bit. All right, and bring this somewhere here and make this to be the eyes for our uh, dinosaur okay of course this is not this is very very uh, you know uh, and I want to select the dinosaur shift S the cursor to select it and select the sphere and make it control shift alt C and make the or uh, set the origin to the 3D cursor now I want to add a modifier mirror to the sphere so we have it a duplicated mirror uh, along the uh, x-axis and uh, I want to set this uh, to, to give it a material, a new material with a uh, glossy material, all right, a glossy with a uh, dark color, and I want to set the roughness to something like uh, pretty high, like 0.5 perhaps, and of course uh, I want to uh, switch over to the render it, just for having a you know. Uh, you know this kind of effect here of course uh, this is very very um, you know a draft preview but the important thing is for the texture all right how you can make this uh, texture uh, all right so uh, that was that completes our tutorial for today I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time with a hopefully interesting topic hopefully soon until then have fun and goodbye